Traveling is a dream for many people, and rightly so. The world is full of beautiful places waiting to be explored. But not everyone can afford to spend thousands of dollars to travel. And fortunately, you don't have to. We've listed some of the cheapest destinations in the world for you guys. Nepal Nepal is one of the cheapest places in the world to travel. For 100 rupees or $1, you get a full meal, a bus ticket, a pot of ginger tea, a short tuk-tuk ride, and much more. Nepal already has some of the cheapest accommodations in the world. With sub $5 cheap guest houses that have solar hot water and nice hotels with maid service and breakfast for under $20. When you search for hotels in Kathmandu for a night, there are double rooms for under $10. In the countryside, spend $40 a night and you're probably in the best hotel in town. In Nepal, you're going to have a wonderful experience with classic Asian culture and tropical nature. Trekking in the undeveloped countryside, you'll be able to enjoy the organic and beautiful Asian heritage. Head to Bhaktapur in the Kathmandu Valley and you will not want to miss other sacred Hindu Buddhism temples. More than 50,000 visitors per month are arriving in such a gorgeous country and are worth spending weeks or months in Nepal. Cambodia With beds for 2.5 pounds and lip smacking food for less than that, Cambodia is such a cheap place to go on holiday that you can feel guilty for paying so little. Where once travelers often feared to tread, Cambodia is now very much on the Southeast Asia travel scene, particularly among backpackers and increasingly holiday makers looking for 5-star luxury without the price tag. Cambodia, without visiting this iconic ancient site, preferably at dawn to watch the sun rise behind Angkor Wat Temple itself. A spectacular experience. Although ticket prices are rising since February 2017, entry to this vast UNESCO World Heritage Site and official wonder of the world will cost just £28 for a full day. It's worth paying £48 for three days. There are just too many temples to squeeze into one day, and once the midday sun hits, you'll want to take shade or find some seriously strong air conditioning. Vietnam Unspoiled and undeveloped, despite its rise in popularity in the last few years, Vietnam is still a super cheap travel destination, as well as a beautiful country of lush mountains and sweeping white sands. You can easily get by on £10 a day, including a guest house, local food, transport, and a bit of drinking, a pint of Vietnam's most popular brew, Bai Hoi. Costs as little as 50p. Hanoi's old quarter around Hona Kaim Lake is the best place to soak up some of the city's post-colonial charm. It's also a rare oasis of calm in this otherwise chaotic city, where locals go every morning at sunrise to practice Tai Chi. Experience Vietnamese rural life in and around the mountain resort of Dai Lat in the Central Highlands. The city is somewhat overrun with tourists, it's the main departure point for a lot of easy rider motorcycle tours. But the flower farms, local tofu factories, cashew nut plantations, and of course the iconic rice terraces are worth stopping by to take a look. Stop over in one of the eccentric fairy tale rooms of the crazy house too. India A spending spree in Mumbai's designer shops and a stay in an international hotel in Delhi is going to cost you as much as it would in Dubai. But away from these enclaves, the cost of living is ridiculously low. Even if you travel first class on the trains and take taxis everywhere, you'll be hard pressed to spend a lot of money here. And it's possible to budget for a cheap holiday of just £15 a day if you eat local food and stay in a hostel. You can't fly all that way without seeing the most famous tomb in the world, which is the Taj Mahal in Agra. And don't worry about Delhi Belly. You'll find some of India's best street food here in the capital, particularly in the narrow streets and the bustling boulevards around Kongnat Place, in the center of town. Pick your stall wisely, make sure they look clean, and if they're busy, it usually means the food is fresh. But it's still a good idea to pack the Imodium, just in case. Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia is one of the cheapest destinations that have not yet been widely discovered by tourists mainly because Saudi Arabia has just opened for tourism. They started issuing tourist visas in 2019. The country is diverse in culture and climate as you move from one region to another. However, one thing is common. You will experience genuine Arabian hospitality and generosity that have always been an inseparable part of the Bedouin identity, in which the Saudi people take so much pride. You are likely going to be invited for dinner or coffee by Saudis once they know you're a tourist. Prices in general are very cheap compared to Europe and North America. A meal in an inexpensive restaurant will cost you only $5.33. 
A regular cappuccino costs $3.17. A liter of gas costs only 55 cents. Loaf of fresh white bread, 500 grams, costs about 78 cents. Philippines. The Philippines is a country you can travel in for as little as USD $20 a day if you're doing it on a broke backpacker budget. And it's possible to travel much cheaper than that if you push it by hitchhiking and camping. Your budget can balloon, especially if you're staying at luxurious beachfront resorts, eating out at fancy restaurants, and taking expensive tours. Street food can cost as little as $1 for a plate of tasty mystery meat. If you decide to eat in tourist-centric restaurants, prices will be higher with meals costing between $5 and $20 in most tourist-aimed restaurants. A coconut for that inevitable hangover will cost less than a dollar. Flights can quickly eat into your budget. So it's best to stick to ferries if you are long on time but short on cash. There are pretty decent long-distance buses running across some of the bigger islands, such as Luzon, but inevitably you will end up on a ferry. It's simply the only way to get to many of the islands. Thailand In the off-season, touring in Thailand is quite cheap. Four things make up 60-70% to 70 of the trip. Number 1. Airplane tickets plus visa. Number 2. Accommodation. Number 3. Food. And number 4. Transportation. Airplane tickets can be booked from RS 8000 to 12000, but you will need to book them at least 45 to 60 days in advance. Accommodation is not expensive in Thailand. You can get a shared room for as little as RS 300 to 400. You can eat at 7-Eleven, which is everywhere in Thailand. You'll get the cheapest food there in all of Thailand. You can stop and sleep in any Buddhist temple if you wish to, especially if you have a tent. It would be polite to make a small payment also. You can get food in the temple and shower as well. Maldives Normally when you think of the Maldives, you think of fancy resorts with water villas. But if you want to travel to the Maldives on a budget, it's best to avoid private islands. The rooms are decent and have all the basic amenities. You can also explore options at Hulhumale Island. The island is 30 minutes ferry ride from Male. The ferry ticket is very cheap. On this island, you will have a lot of guest house options that are cheaper than the traditional hotels on the island. The beaches here are also amazing. The water sports are also cheaper there. You also have a great Indian restaurant there in case you get hungry for that kind of food. Hong Kong Hong Kong is the epitome of East meets West. If you are someone who grew up in the West but wants to know or loves Eastern culture, then HK is the place to go. The museums are marvelous, the harbor views are beautiful, both from TST looking over to HK Island or from the peak. Theme parks like Disneyland and Ocean Park are fun too. If you are picky about food, i.e. vegetarian, there are several places in Hong Kong. You can go to the ISKCON temple on Chatham Road. There is also Sangeetas or Brando's. If you're an adventurous vegetarian, try Buddhist vegetarian food. It's delicious. So which one of these destinations do you like the most? Let us know in the comment section. See you all in the next video.